what, what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? And yet another bid to prove that she's down with the kings and queens. Kamala Harris stopped by the Breakfast Club to talk about everything from her bid for president and smoking pot. She said, half of my family is from Jamaica. Are you kidding me? This is her trying to be jokey jokey. She conceded that she in fact lit up listening to Tupac and Snoop Dogg during college before adding I inhaled. Okay. So she makes a swipe at Bill Clinton when he was talking about his weed smoking days. Unfortunately for Kamala, the timeline just don't fit. She says she got high listening to Tupac and Snoop in college. But Tupac didn't drop his solo debut to 1991. That's the end of 1991. I know because Ghetto Boys dropped our biggest hit, My Mind's Playing Tricks on Me in 1991. So we were competing for chart space. Snoop didn't drop his solo to two years later. By that time, Kamala Harris, who graduated from Howard University in 1986, was already several years deep into her so-called anti-pot campaign as a deputy district attorney in Alameda County. Now, people say, well, yeah, man, you know, you know, nobody cares about her smoking pot and, and, you know, maybe she got a timeline messed up. You know, you're going to hold that against her. You're going to come after her just because of that. No, this is bigger than the pot issue, man. Nobody, you're right. Nobody cares about her smoking pot, but voters do care about honesty and integrity. They do care about being lied to, the shucking and jiving, being pandered to. What's really funny is that she's praising we now, but just a few years ago, she was locking up people for smoking weed. How'd that go? Read somewhere on Instagram, somebody said, why are you so obsessed with Kamala Harris? I'm not obsessed with Kamala Harris. I'm obsessed with the truth. I'm obsessed with not picking someone to become president who has already set a president for locking black people up in California. So you think that she's not going to take that show on the road? Her whole history, she has a sordid history of locking black folks up. So that don't mean nothing to y'all. Yeah, oh, you just gonna vote for her because she black. Well, you just a black woman. Crabs in a bucket. Crabs in a bucket. I'm not in the damn bucket. You may be in the bucket, but I'm not in the bucket. That's why I'm speaking the way I'm speaking. I would love to see a black woman become president of the United States. I know a lot of qualified black women. I wish they would run. I'd vote for them in a heartbeat. But Kamala Harris ain't it. We can do better. Now, who? Y'all say who, who, who? I think, um, I like Bernie Sanders. I like Beto. I like the Williamson woman. I like them people. You know, at least Williamson got a plan for reparations. I ain't heard nobody else talk about reparations. Let's talk about that. Let's get some reparations in here. I like that. That's a good start. $100 million ain't enough, but that's a good it's a start. It's something. It starts the conversation. I wish Maxine Waters would run. I'd vote for Maxine Waters over every single person on earth. Hell, I'd vote, I'd vote for Cardi B. At least I know Cardi B's authentic and she ain't playing no games. At least I know she loves her people for real. At least I know Maxine Waters loves her people for real. Maxine Waters loves her people. That's indisputable. You obsessed. So obsessed, they say you are obsessed when they get triggered now. So they'll say you're obsessed when they want you to get your foot off the neck of 
somebody that they riding with. So they said, why are you obsessed? They told me I was obsessed with Donald Trump. I'm obsessed with having a president who ain't a damn racist. That's what I'm obsessed with. She is a public figure. Kamala Harris is a public figure who put herself out there, who built a record on law and order, specifically going in on black people time and time again. There were over 40 black men at one point who had evidence that could prove their innocence, that had proved their innocence. And Kamala Harris suppressed evidence. She didn't want to see. And guess what she said? She said that she didn't want to let them out and many other people out because it would harm, and I'm paraphrasing, but she said that it would harm the free labor. That's really somebody y'all want to be the president. How damn desperate can you be? Look, you don't have to take my word. Just do some damn research and take a look at her record and you be the judge. But I realized something. Some people only care about optics. They're fascinated with optics, appearances. You know, it's like the people that wear Gucci. They could be totally morally corrupt, but if they got that Gucci on, they feel like something, makes them feel important. Some people only care about optics. They just want to look at the car. They don't care if the car can't get them where they're trying to go. No more talk. What the haters talking about?